Welcome back to the Iranian Viva channel. Alongside everything else that came with the Mutation Invasion update for Fallout 76, a new light ally was added with Season 12. Brother Stevie is a follower of the Winged One, the Mothman cult who worshipped the Red-Eyed Mothman, and is actually the first non-hostile member of that cult we can meet in Appalachia. He's an interesting character. Set unwelcome guests on fire, but not your camp. Got it. But alongside being a vendor and offering us an XP bonus, he has a lot of dialogue options that need to be unlocked by completing certain prerequisites. Cryptid-related quests, the Mothman Equinox event, and even reading tomes within the Point Pleasant Church, leading to some insights on the mysterious interloper. In today's video, I'll be going through everything you need to know about the new ally, how to unlock all his optional dialogue, and investigating what actually happens if he was to meet his deity. Let's get started. Available at rank 35 on the Season 12 scoreboard, setting down Scarberry Shrine will see Steven make his way towards you. Another who peers into the shadow to witness the gaze of his truth. You prepare the albino blood. I'll ignite this area in a purifying pyre. Steven assumes you are also a cultist, mentioning albino blood and lighting a pyre. Quickly correcting him, you can come to an accord, after assurances he won't burn your camp down. Set unwelcome guests on fire, but not your camp. Got it. His name, Stephen Scarberry, is most likely a reference to the first reported encounter with the Mothman in 1966. The eyewitnesses at the time were Linda and Roger Scarberry and Steve and Mary Mallet. The fictional Tales from the West Virginia Hills radio play also uses these names to create the character Mary Scarberry. Brother Stevie is an avid follower of the Red-Eyed Mothman. With an extensive selection of idle lines and greetings, you can actually trigger some interesting responses. If you wear clothing that the hostile dim ones wear in Mothman Equinox, he will compliment you. I see you have come to appreciate fine vestments. But if you wear the robes of the Enlightened, I hope you're only wearing that because your other clothes are dirty with albino radstag blood. A couple of other good ones you can trigger are being highly irradiated. You are absolutely glowing. Would you mind climbing something tall and jumping around? I think that might attract him. And a call back to another ally's infamous idol line. I just can't shake these nightmares. Floating in darkness forever. What if I cannot find his light? And there's also a reference to Mr. House if you choose to tell him your pit boy has an inbuilt light source. An elder once implied that the one behind Arabco was lacking in the soul. Finally, he will even try to convince you that cultists can be fun too, with a pretty bad joke. So, a disciple with a cigarette walks up to the Mothman priest and says, Have you got the light? <laughs> See? We can have fun. If you choose to ask Steven about himself, you should see an option asking why he hasn't finished his pilgrimage yet. I, uh, I still have not found Mothman. And once he's finished, you have the option to reply with this. You're attempting to pull me from his faith. That's why I met you and not him. You're a test. Until I convince you of his glory, I cannot witness it myself. Once you've actually cleared this speech path though, the option will change to asking for updates on his pilgrimage. Instead of the same dialogue, Stephen will instead provide you with some stories of random encounters in the wasteland. One refers to the new smiling man. A very friendly man. While his personality was cold, he could not shake his smile. I feel as though we were looking for similar things. A creepy addition to Fallout 76, Injured Cold, isn't the only encounter Stevie claims he's had. He will also mention the sickle man. Have you heard of a man with a sickle going around removing heads? A scorch beast. I heard the majestic sound of wings flapping in the night. But then I saw the red winged creature and there was screaming. But also a few new experiences but don't relate to anything currently in game. In the thick of a forest, I heard a high pitched jabbering close by. As I approached, some tall foliage appeared to reach out and grab a settler. Be wary of strange trees, friend. He clearly describes another West Virginia cryptid sighting. And this is actually the Veggie Man, or Vegetable Man as he's also known. Another is apparently a ghost. Towards the White Springs, I could faintly see a woman in need of help. She ran unobstructed through the trees before I lost sight of her near an old cemetery. 
Not sure if this one relates to anything specific, but most peculiar is a story about seeing a light fall from the sky. I saw a light fall from the sky. I hoped for him, but instead found metal, smoke and debris. Nothing else except for a fuzzy painting of a man in a blue shirt. Let me know in the comments if you know what this refers to. Another interesting detail when you ask him about himself is this speech path, where you speak to him about joining the cult. I would not know, for you see I did not join. I was chosen, specifically selected by the Holy One himself. Brother Stevie at Transpires was chosen by the Mothman himself, being left at a nest surrounded by unhatched eggs. With an intelligent speech check, you can actually point out what actually happened here. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. We are all his children, and we would never resort to cannibalism. Unless you mean food for thought, in which case, yes, I aim to feed the minds of my kin. What an interesting way of phrasing it. Moving on, similar to Leo Petrov, who had the option to speak with him about Nuka Cola related side quests, Steven has the same options. So far in our testing, there appear to be a total of four quest lines which appear like this, starting with the lowdown. Added with the Wild Appalachia update, this quest saw players investigating Calvin Van Lowe, eventually leading to investigating the Van Lowe taxidermy and uncovering the truth behind this sheep squatch. You can lie to Steven about how that quest line ended. <clears throat> Noted. False gods are alcoholics. Over and out is a main quest line from the Steel Dawn update which will uncover the Enclave Research Facility J. Of particular interest to Steven, as a scorched mothman can be found in one area. He will, however, refuse to believe that a mothman can become sick, though, offering a different explanation. Sick? Oh no, no, no. The dust from the mothman's wings prevents sickness and extends the life of those it blesses. This must have been some form of mutated butterfly man. Death and taxidermy is centered around the Beast of Beckley, a supposed cryptid sighting originally, completing this questline will reveal the truth, but actually a very large wolf was actually responsible for the killings. And Stephen has an answer for everything, apparently. That's borderline blasphemy. There's no way an albino wolf is anywhere near the same pantheon as his holiness. That said, Brother Ryan had made mention of a white fox. Perhaps this is what he was alluding to. But last but not least, the most important questline for unlocking Steven's most interesting dialogue is Mothman Equinox, which is slated to return later this year. Initially fascinated, he quickly changes tune once you reveal who you actually summoned in the ritual. Oh, my apologies. I didn't realize that we were discussing the false prophet. When people say Mothman, I assume they're talking about the holy Mothman, not their purple liar. But please, do go on. Tell me of the stories of their glorified butterfly. As a worshipper of the red-eyed mothman, he's strongly opposed to the enlightened, and is equally dismissive when you point out where they actually managed to summon a mothman, which is something that he's no closer to actually doing. Should I be impressed that they summoned the wrong thing? I can summon a stray dog with a piece of meat. That does not make it a holy being. At this point though, we need to discuss the tomes found in the Point Pleasant Church. To unlock these tomes requires completing a certain number of equinoxes. Starting from the left side, the first requires one completion, and then three, six, ten, fifteen, and a whopping twenty-one to read False Gods of Appalachia. Now, reading these tomes are actually what unlocks this extra dialogue. Unfortunately, these are currently bugged. Hopefully this is a fix that Bethesda can implement pretty quickly. But similar to unlocking Leo Petrov's extra dialogue, Currently, these tomes are set to be needing to be read directly from your inventory. However, unlike the bugged notes from Leo's questline which you could pick up, these tomes are actually fixed in their display cases. Thanks to Lux and Gilpo from the Data Mining Discord for confirming that these were in fact the prerequisites, and yeah, really hoping for a quick fix of this. Luckily, we do still have his voice line, so let's take a listen to what Steven has to say about the interloper. To unlock this dialogue normally, you will need to have read the last sacred tome, False gods of Appalachia. I... I know not of who you speak. That said, it is in your best interest to drop this line of inquiry. Please, I beg of you. The response will not answer your questions. It only adds more. It's a small addition, but he clearly knows exactly what we're talking about. How the interloper fits into his reverence of the red-eyed mothman currently remains to be seen, however. 
To close out today's video, I wanted to see what would happen if Steven actually met a Mothman or other cultists. Well, turns out, like any ally, he'll be hostile to any aggressors. And his fellow cultists are no exception, as we cleared out Point Pleasant together. And the great Mothman he so desperately craves to meet? Same story. Pelting it from close range in front of his totem, but all finishing and going straight back to praying. Honestly not sure what I was expecting from this, but it might have been interesting to see some kind of neutrality, or some new dialogue upon meeting a Mothman. Anyway, that wraps up today's video. What did you think of the latest Light Ally? Has Steven managed to convert you yet? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this particular video, please consider subscribing to help the channel grow. We post a variety of different Fallout 76 content, so turning on the bell icon is definitely the best way to stay up to date. With that said though, I'm off. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.